Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the wild world of Linux gaming. It's actually better than ever, but let's be honest, it's still kind of bad. Okay, so over the last few years, Linux has made some incredible strides in gaming. What used to be this complex niche platform is now a legit alternative to Windows. Thanks to tools like Proton and Lutris, plus a super dedicated open source community. Honestly, there are only a handful of titles you can't run on Linux today. But here's the thing, even though it's way better than it was three years ago, the experience still falls short of what you'd get on Windows. And I want to explain why. First, a quick history lesson. Back in the 1980s, PCs weren't really gaming machines. That was consoles territory. PCs were expensive, clunky, and people bought them mostly for productivity. Then in the early 90s, the Intel 8, the ADT6 processor changed the game, literally, making PCs faster and able to produce better graphics than consoles. Doom's 1993 release was a watershed moment. Fast forward to Windows 95 and Microsoft had a problem. They'd moved away from DOS, which meant game developers lost that direct hardware access they loved. Enter DirectX, three Microsoft engineers pitched it to hardware vendors, even ported Doom to Windows 95 to show it off, and that kicked off modern PC gaming, making Windows the go-to platform. Meanwhile, Linux was growing, but in the enterprise world, not gaming. Gaming was never the kernel's goal, right? So for decades, developers focused on Windows and DirectX. That's a massive head start. Valve's Proton then flipped the script, letting Linux translate Windows API calls, so Games run natively without a Linux port. It's brilliant, but it also highlights the core issue. Most PC games are built for Windows. Proton doesn't give you native Linux versions. It just emulates the Windows environment on Linux. And don't even get me started on the extra software like the NVIDIA control panel or AMD's Radeon software. They're just not there on Linux. You've got open source drivers, yeah, but missing features like DLSS 4 or FSR4 support can really sting. And apps like Discord sometimes break, modding tools require whack-a-mole support, and anti-cheat, well, forget about it. So is Linux ready to dethrone Windows as the ultimate gaming platform? Not yet. We're talking decades of uh, Windows-centric development and a 95% Windows share on Steam versus roughly 2.7% for Linux. Progress is real, but it's measured in decades, not months. If you're one of the rare few gaming primarily on Linux, Bless your heart, you've got patience and skill. But for most folks, the hurdles are just too big right now. All right, that's it for today's video. If you like this deep dive, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments, what's your dream setup for Linux gaming? I'll see you next time. Happy gaming and keep tinkering.